So guys, I am back with another Diablo 4 video. Now earlier on, we got a patch, June 12th, 2023 patch, or hotfix 1.0.2, where they said further adjustments to elite monster density within dungeons and developer note. We are standardizing the density of elite monsters that spawn in dungeons to ensure that no particular dungeon is clearly more efficient to run than others. Obviously guys want to take away our fun in those XP and legendary farms. Well guys today I bring you an amazing place, an amazing dungeon you can still farm after this patch, after this hotfix that will reward you tons of XP, plenty of legendaries and you won't want to miss this, stay tuned. How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and if you do enjoy the video leaving a like it really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe. Okay, so this dungeon is located right here on your map. The dungeon itself is called Alderwood, and it's right here, guys. Now, I actually ran this dungeon earlier on today before this hotfix uh, was applied, and I thought, you know what, that's pretty good. I'm going to take a screenshot of where this is. I'll run it later just, just to double check. Now, I've come back, guys, with that hotfix applied to my game, and well, I cannot tell the difference. Even my recordings I had from earlier on, to what I experienced just, I still could not tell the difference. There are a ton of enemies within here. Elites, I mean, you name it guys, there's a ton of enemies within here. Now this can be done solo, and it can be done in a team. I'd say obviously in a team it's more efficient because of the way this dungeon is set up, but you can still do it solo. I'm running this thing in literally about 8 minutes solo and earning tons of XP. Okay, so you can see the map of the dungeon right here. Now this will obviously change with the RNG, but it's normally this kind of weird shape. Now I'm not going to say what kind of shape this is, guys. But yeah, it's this kind of normal weird shape. Now, when you actually come into this, the first section of this, you need to kill and slay three Alderkins, those enemies within those uh, bubbles. Now normally, guys, there is two on either one of these sides and one on the other. But the great thing is that every time I've run this, there's always been a cursed shrine event. So if I run this the one time and there's two of those enemies on this side, there's going to be one of those enemies on this side with that cursed shrine event. So if you're doing this in a team, if you're doing this co-op or in a team of four, whatever, split off at the middle, two go left, two go right, or well, yeah, two go left, two go right, don't know my left and right. Uh, but if you're doing it in just a co-op, one goes left, one goes right, obviously with no dungeons, a shared XP, so you can do this don't matter where everyone is in the dungeon you're all going to earn that xp from it but yes and i would recommend as well run past all the enemies don't worry about any other enemies apart from the ones you have to take down because 90 percent of them will follow you to that said boss that you need to take out so you ain't got to worry about any of them there's little stragglers but you'll take them out and then tons of xp and then guys obviously get the shrine done as well get that event done as well then progress on and always come to this room right here because again there's another event here tons and tons of enemies and i mean tons of them again run past any ad here normally it will just follow you up anyway uh, but yeah take them out then guys progress past the event to this area here and you'll see now the gameplay of this are just, just another ton of enemies here earn you great great xp now the wild thing about this guys is as well, I mean you can take out the boss if you want to, to make it more efficient, though I wouldn't do this, I mean the boss is easy but you don't get much XP from him in regards to what you can if you just reset the farm. So yeah, get this done guys, run it and tell me what you think down below, it's a great great XP farm and you'll earn tons of legendaries too. I earn quite a few, to between 5 and 10 a lot of the times I run this by myself, well doing it solo that's what I've been getting anyway. Yeah, it's a great, great farm. Now, if you don't know how to farm and reset dungeons, it's pretty simple. If you're doing this in a team, uh, the, or if you're doing it like a, a, a party, the party host needs to bring up his map, go across the social, and leave the party. That host then will then spawn outside of the dungeon door. Right here, he can invite you back into his team. You run the dungeon again. Simple as that, all enemies will have respawned. If you're playing this solo like I'm doing, guys, what you need to do is exit the dungeon via bringing up your map and going to leave or pressing up on your d-pad and going to leave dungeon once you're outside of the dungeon door guys you want to quit out your game once you've quit out your game you then want to load back in you load back in outside of the dungeon door run back in all the enemies will have respawned it really is that simple but yes guys this is a great great xp farm after the recent nerfs and it works an absolute treat try it out and let me know guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one